Hi guys. It said that if you want to understand women, don't listen to what they say, watch what they do. Now, when it comes to dating, a lot of times the guy that she last said that she wants to end up with ends up being the one that she eventually gets with. I know it's a scene that leaves a lot of men confused and second guessing their own self-worth when they see the woman that they want in the arms of a man that doesn't fit the good guy she claimed she wanted. But there are very real psychological reasons why women tend to go for the men that are emotionally unavailable and the ones that go hot and cold on her at will versus the guy that's always there for her. Not only am I going to break them down to you, I'm going to show you how to use them to your advantage. Number one, the scarcity principle. Value cannot exist without scarcity. This is a fundamental principle that's as true in economics as it is in dating. Just as scarcity in an economy creates a flow of money toward it, so does the scarcity of a man's emotional availability. It creates a flow of her time and attention towards him. It's just a harsh fact that you could be the nicest guy in the world, but being too available or always being her place to vent will eventually make her lose that initial attraction that she had for you. It's because she can predict that she'll always be behind her and anything that can be predicted loses the excitement. This is how you use this for your advantage. Maintain a sense of independence and avoid being overly available. This doesn't mean playing games. Rather, it's about having a life outside of women. Pursue your hobbies, spend time with your friends, focus on your own personal growth. By being less available, you create a healthy dynamic where your time is valued and desired. Number two is the challenge factor. This is something that women understand instinctively about themselves. Making themselves a challenge for a man or playing hard to get is one way to up their attractiveness and excitement of the chase. But it's not often that she encounters a man that can do the same. Men that are emotionally unavailable from time to time ignite her frustration because of how unfazed he is. She lives for the time that she can get an emotional high out of him. And it's incredibly satisfying when she actually finally does. This is how you use this to your advantage. Recognize that a certain level of challenge is attractive. This means being confident, having clear boundaries, and not always being predictably agreeable. It's about being your authentic self and not bending over backwards just to please. Challenge also comes from intellectual and emotional depth. So not shying away from expressing your opinions, your thoughts, your beliefs is key to. Number three, the allure of the forbidden fruit. Do you know what a girl thinks when a guy's not giving her the time of day? She starts to convince herself that she doesn't want him anyway. A man that's off limits in her mind is one that she tries hard not to even think about. But it's that internal disconnect that means that she just can't get him out of her head. She feels attracted to him precisely because she knows she can't get him or at least his complete emotional investment. And it's not that she likes him either. She doesn't have to fully be head over heels for him. It's just that she wants him. That's just basic human nature. All the way from toddlers that want what they know they can't have to entire biblical accounts of Eve and the forbidden fruit. You could put 10 options in front of a person and they'll still be more interested in the one you have hidden behind your back. The primitive part of our brain functions in the exact same way when a woman desires a man, especially because he seems unattainable. This is how you use this to your advantage. Don't take the psychological impact of appearing slightly out of reach or forbidden lightly. This doesn't mean that you should create a false persona of yourself or create a false persona of being unattainable. It's more about having self-respect standards and not rushing into emotional matters. Let connections develop naturally without forcing closeness or commitment too soon. Number four, the ego boost. It may not be the most politically correct thing to say, but there's no secret that women function on emotions and feed off of the emotional highs that you give them. Even a feeling like anger or jealousy can often be accompanied by that tinge of excitement that she enjoys. It's the same thing with her ego. Common belief might suggest that she's looking for an ego boost, but the reality is she prefers for you to be slightly out of reach so she can repeatedly get that ego boost. That's why getting a man to break his character with an emotional high is so satisfying to these women. She knows that it's something that no other woman has been able to do, and yet she is the one that could. She was successfully able to tame a wild, carefree spirit and make him give in to his emotions. This is how you use this to your advantage. Understand that everyone, regardless of gender, appreciates feeling special and unique. Show genuine interest and appreciation for the woman you're interested in, but don't lay it
get on too thick. Compliments and gestures of affection should feel earned and sincere, not like a constant stream that loses its meaning. Make her feel special by recognizing her unique qualities and achievements, but also maintaining a balance where recognition is part of a reciprocal and respectful relationship. So guys, armed with this understanding and knowledge, you can successfully navigate the dating world with a deeper insight into the psychological factors at play. It's not about playing games. I want to be clear. It's about recognizing and leveraging these dynamics to your advantage. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later.